G'day, this is ASX Options, Jonathan speaking. So today we're going to cover options contracts and some of the common terms associated with them. This is going to lay the foundation for the following videos in the beginner series, and then we're going to dive into each one of these terms individually. So let's get started. So an option is like an insurance product. Perhaps the most familiar type of options contract, and it's closest to home. Insurance in many ways is like a put option. For example, a homeowner who purchases insurance has the right to sell all or part of the home back to the insurance company at a date in the future. So if the home gets flooded, burns down, etc., you, the homeowner, will inform the insurance company that you'd like to sell the home for the insured amount, even though the home may not exist anymore. Could be flooded, could be burnt down. But more than likely, the house does not burn down and you don't want to sell the house for less than it's worth to the insurer. This is a key component of options. You are under no obligation to sell the property or asset to the insurer or seller. Okay, so let's move on. We have the option contract terms here and we're going to go through them one by one. So the first that I want to talk about is the premium. So as with insurance, a premium must be paid to buy the options contract. So this is an amount that's negotiated between the buyer and the seller, and this premium is kept by the insurer whether the house burns down or not. So number two is the expiration date. And like with insurance products, you can pick this, this term of expiry. Do you want house insurance for one year, two year, 10 years? Number three, the strike or exercise price. So consider this to be like, how much will the insurance holder receive if a certain event occurs? So this is the level that you're willing to buy or sell at, and this determines your payoff structure. Now, I won't go into this now too much, but we'll just try and give you a bit of a feel um, for the next term. So the underlying. Insurers value the insurance contract depending on the event and the probability of occurrence. So by assigning probabilities to different outcomes, like the house burning down or the probability that the house floods, they can come up with some kind of price that is considered to be a fair value, fair representation of the product. In this way that you can see that the contract's price is very linked to what we're actually trying to price it on. So, you know, in this example, that would be the house itself. And this instrument or base asset is termed the underlying. And fifth, the contract type. So this is namely calls or puts. So just as with the house insurance, as an example of a put option, aka we can sell the house back to the insurer, we can also enter a contract that can buy the underlying at a given exercise price. This is called a call option. Again, we will get more into this later. So I thought we'd just go through a bit of a quick example using our website ASX Options here. So if you click on Company Directory, you get a list of all the ASX listed companies that offer options. So if you come down to BHP and click on that, you'll get a underlying price here, so a chart of what the stock price has been doing over the last 90 days. And you can see it was up here at $40, it's fallen off to the beginning of March at $25 there, and it's recovered slightly to $31.50. So that's the underlying. Now the options expiry dates are listed here, and they, they're offered as part of an options chain. So we can click on any one of these options list. So May there, May the 28th is our option date of expiry. Here in the middle, you can see the strike prices. So these are the prices that we're willing to buy or sell at. And you can see that for that particular expiry date, not many people have bought or sold puts or calls. Um, 
except at this strike here. So at $43.51, a volume of, so 12, 12 options contracts were sold and bought on the put option for $12.33. So that's the premium associated with this contract. The strike price of $43.51, it's a put option of European style. And again, the underlying is BHP, and the price of that right now is $31.50. So you can just check out any of the tenors you want in here, see how much you can notice that um, closer to the expiry date, a lot more options trade more frequently and sometimes in higher volume, and different companies will have different levels of liquidity here. In summary, all options contracts have a couple of key components or terms. The underlying, the type of option that it is. Here in this example we have a European put. The expiration date, so how long until the contract expires. The strike or the level that we are willing to buy or sell at and the premium, so the amount changed hands from the buyer to the seller. So thank you very much for listening guys, this is ASX Options, please join us for the next video.